Now that this guitar is complete, I'll walk you through the steps of the compensated nut. So this is the very first reading with the original nut. Fretting the 12th fret note on each string and then playing the open string. And in this case the low E was perfect. And the rest of them as you can see were flat. And this is the second reading. Now this is the compensated nut blank with a 12 inch radius cut across the leading edge. This was the very first reading. So you can see it is the opposite of the original nut. It's sharp all the way across. So after working that 12 inch radius a little bit, this is our second reading. So I went over it a couple more times, third, and this is the fourth reading. So you can see now we've got it down to middle two strings, D and G, are just a couple of cents sharp. The four outside strings are right on the money. And of course this is our fifth and final reading. We got it lined up all the way across. And you'll hear it in a second when we plug it in and sit down in the studio you'll hear just how regulated this guitar is. So this is the initial reading on the original bridge saddle. So fretted 7th fret and fretted 19th fret notes. After the first adjustment we ended up with this. After the second adjustment we ended up with this. So we got four of the six strings in tune. And then after the final adjustment all six strings lined up. For all of you that are following my channel or have been over the last few years and the last 780 videos, you pretty well know by now that I'm big on the vernacular. I'm using stuff that's Easy. readily available and super cost effective. And this is just one more of those jobs. This is a dollar store item. So I'm getting ready to flush sand and polish this compensated nut. You saw me refer to these in that last uh, neck surgery video and these are emery boards that I pick up for a dollar and a quarter at the local dollar store. So I'm just kind of working my way through the different grits. This obviously have the fingerboard and face of the headstock masked off while I do this. On the treble side the nut is dead flush with the surface of the finish. On the base side it's still a little bit proud so we're going to kind of work that down. Of course the masking tape is protecting the finish as we do this. This is a new thing for me. I've just started doing this just the last three or four jobs, but I wanted to share this with you because it makes such a beautiful job. So this is starting with the courses number one. So the other thing, they're all numbered. You go to number two, second most course. This is number three. Number four. And number five. Six. and seven. You saw me use this when I had finished the neck surgery on that last Les Paul. Look at that beautiful polished finish that this gives us. Less than the price of one piece of sandpaper. You get seven grades. Like I said in that neck surgery video, because it's, it's actually foam, it flexes. And it's another job where it kind of flexes where it needs to flex. And that's what we end up with.
Now I'll finish this off with the last few grits. That's number four. Number five. Number six. And the last one, number seven. And that's it. Dead flush. Just going to load those string slots up with some carnauba wax before we before we string this up and we are ready now to tune this up for the final time bring it into the studio and we can all check it out So this is the progression in C minor. We're going to let that play and then just blow over top.
I've used this progression before where I've got a minor ninth on top and when I play those two notes together, well it's a half step apart so kind of sounds out of tune, but played within the context of an arpeggiated chord there's another ninth on top kind of a nice way again to check the intonation across the span of the neck. This is the quick wrap up on the AC5R Yamaha of Marks. There's our compensated saddle. These are the four new replacement frets, and that is the compensated nut. So these are 11 to 52 at concert pitch. And this one's rosewood back and sides. These are the stock Yamaha tuners. Very simple design, very well machined, super stable.